and welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, my name is Sheila and I am being called upon to record videos about my spiritual awakening. Um, so this is like my second video about uh, my spiritual awakening and so in the first part of um, my awakening I woke up to like food <laughs> and then uh, this awakening has to do with spirituality and so uh, I during COVID I watched a documentary I watched a few documentaries actually um, just a quick mention about like also finding out about the child trafficking and human trafficking trade that's happening right now I really woke up to that for sure um, so I'm glad that that whole um, Q thing happened at, for some reason, obviously, because they totally exposed child trafficking. So cool, cool on them. But um, shortly after that awakening, I also had a CE5 awakening. And that has to do with me watching this documentary, which I think is amazing, by Dr. Stephen Greer. It is uh, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. I watched it on Amazon Prime. And uh, after watching that movie, I said, oh, cool, I can meditate and make contact with ETs. I'm gonna try it. And so I got hooked on it. I started meditating every night um, in front of my window, listening to Dr. Greer uh, meditations. And um, I had my headphones on. I would just like zone out in my Papa San chair. And um, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy when you try to tell people, I meditate and make contact with ETs. People are like so weirded out by that when I say that. It probably makes them feel uncomfortable. But I know it sounds weird because I say ETs like as in like an alien, like you think like a little green man with big eyes and a big round head. Well, it's not just those types of aliens or ETs. I don't even like to call them aliens. It's, it sounds very um, uh, specious. So I like to call them extraterrestrials, but there's not only just extraterrestrials, there's also um, extra dimensionals and also uh, what I consider my guardian angels, my spirit guides, also just a straight connection to source um, and spirit, you know, God, the universe, consciousness. Yeah, at your mind right here. Like anybody can access this, you know, and it's through meditation where I uh, learned to tap in and I wouldn't have done this meditation if it wasn't for Dr. Greer. I never used to meditate. I just like, I used to, to do it. I mean, I tried it and I just, um, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't get it. And so now I get it. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, it is not just like about, uh, you know, CE5 and like, uh, you know, uh, going out there and looking for ETs, which I've done. I um, started getting into the whole CE5 thing real deep. Like I even joined groups here in Washington. Uh, we went on a Joshua Tree retreat to go make contact with ETs. We got this beautiful Airbnb out in the middle of the desert in Joshua Tree. And we just went in the backyard and, and set up our, our um, recliner chairs, you know, those anti-gravity chairs. And um, we just sat in the middle of the desert out there um, every night for three nights. And it was just the most magical experience ever. Like I know I contacted an ET um, only because I felt one channeling through me. Um, so I did nerd out and get this uh, Trifield EMF reader thing. And that was out there. And I didn't have my cell phone near me. See how it gets, like when you get it near the cell phone, it starts to lose its shit. Well, maybe I have the wrong setting, but anyways, <laughs> I had this out there, nowhere near my phone. And 
um, it started uh, making some cool tones. Like, so for example, we were listening to a Dr. Greer meditation, my favorite thing to do. Um, <laughs> and so right when Dr. Greer said the word tone, this little meter started going off, okay? Like right at that word, tone. But it just like a little blurp. It was like, you know, and I was like, whoa, what's that? You know, I was like, where'd you come from? And so I started paying attention and all of a sudden, like, it just started going off and like everybody in the group was like so excited. We were like, whoa. And so <laughs> I, um, feel like I channeled it. Like I felt something was radiating through me and making my meter go off. Oh, when I can just tell you that, like just thinking about that really gives me the chills because like, that's just the first time I noticed or, you know, I actually came to realize that I am a spiritual being and I crave more of it. And because of it, my life has changed. Like, I can get into so many things that I've changed about myself just by tapping into my spirituality. And so, um, you know, the whole uh, CE5 thing, the ETs, like I seriously feel like I have uh, a strong connection to them and I'm an ET, I'm an ET too. Those are my people, you know? And you're an ET too, we're all ETs. You know, I mean, come on. You can't think that we're the only ones here floating in this entire universe. It's infinite. Stop right now, okay? Wake up. So, okay, ETs and CE5 and like, I'm so hooked on it. Like I uh, pretty much every night, like, um, you know, I meditate and I just make, uh, you know, some spiritual contact with um, all types of, um, awesome things, you know, divine beings, beings of light, like it's a wealth of knowledge. It's infinite intelligence and it's all accessible through your consciousness. And all you have to do is meditate. And then also there's more things tied in too, you know, like once you, once you start going through this awakening, like you want to eat better, you know, like you want to make sure you get enough rest. You don't go out there partying. Uh, you don't go drinking anymore, you know, it's like your whole vibe changes. And like, I've always considered myself a, a hippie in a way. And so this is just like, yep, definitely confirms that I'm a hippie. I even smell like a hippie. I burned sage and Palo Santo and like all this others. I wear frankincense and um, a, a Palo Santo deodorant, okay? Uh, so... <laughs> No aluminum, of course. So, um, okay. So my whole CE5 experience, um, what else can I say about it? Um, I'm down to do CE5s with people if anybody's interested. I always love the opportunity to get out there in the desert and just be under the Milky Way and be with my people, you know? Like, oh, you guys and girls, I just highly recommend that you just at least once in your life try to meditate and just put out that vibe to the universe and see what responds you know because once you notice the mystic the mystic notices you okay and it's there's nothing to be scared of by the way this is all love okay this is all love there's nothing to be afraid of unless you bring that okay so no haters out there mm. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, well, so I don't want to make too long of a video. Um, you know, just trying to keep this under 10 minutes. And well, I just wanted to uh, basically let everyone know about my spiritual awakening as far as it goes with like um, the CE5 thing, the whole meditation thing. It just tapped into my whole spirituality and blew me open. And it just goes from there, man, seriously. So I'm gonna make another video where I'm gonna keep going about what else is happening in my spiritual awakening on all the amazing things that I'm encountering so far. And I'm excited to share. Um, I hope that you are being blessed right now by life and that you are in gratitude to life every day. 
and I send you so much love. <sighs> Thank you for watching.